Yeah. Not, it, it, we're paying homage to Japan and anime. Not one giant mecha robots? I was Not shocked. one? Not, Not one fucking ATAT that transforms into a robot? What the fuck? I was really expecting like five TIE fighters to form one giant <laughs> robot. Get that thumb out of your ear and stick it back in your ass where it belongs. Oh, shit. All right, all right, that's okay. okay. This Welcome is, back. This isn't the Pornhub channel. This one's going on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be reviewing Star Wars Visions. Visions. Motherfucking mutt. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who are not familiar, here's how the story goes. Why are you watching this shit if you're not familiar? <laughs> if, if they don't some, give a fuck about Star Wars Visions, I guarantee you they're not watching this shitty no, ass some review. Some people are like, oh my god, that's Harold and Kumar, and they click on us. And so. <laughs> Here we are. Um, so Star Wars Visions, the whole idea behind it, quick version, is uh, folks at Star Wars gave a bunch of animators and animation studios in Japan the creative freedom to create whatever the hell it is that they wanted in the Star Wars universe. And what they come up with? <laughs> nine up. fan shorts. Yes. All right. Nine episodes. I didn't <coughs> hate it as bad as I thought I was going to hate it. Wow, I, look, that's saying something. I'll, in fact, I'll say I, I didn't even hate it. I didn't like it. It wasn't any good. But I, I thought I was going to be furious. Okay, I mean, that's fair. Because we're, we're... We've done a lot of anime reviews on this channel. We've watched a lot of shit. On the old and channel, so, we got kicked off. On the off. old channel, yeah. before, it got, before we got booted. And uh, that kind of, like killed what we loved about anime because now we see current day anime it's and it's shit. such bullshit and that's kind of what we were expecting for star wars was right modern it was we expected one piece and that made me mad that they were doing that to star wars right however it wasn't so much like that no i had no. a lot of problems with it and it wasn't good or well done but here we go episode one the duel i liked this one started off nice that was a strong episode uh i understand why they put it first yeah, yeah. Start um, off strong, get them hooked. It was drawn it was a, a little episode. weird. Like, why are you doing this black and white artistic, uh, whatever. Uh, it was artistic choice, and I'm like, ah, you know what, I don't mind this. Everything that was in bright color were the lightsabers and the blasters. Everything else was black and white and very muted. And so I get that it was everything this... Everything felt sketched. It was yeah. this cool throwback episode with this nice homage to the Kurosawa films, which is great. We're start with Star Wars is the Jedi. Go ahead, let's pay homage to that. I was very happy with it. Kind of a flimsy storyline. You see like a million fan-made movies that are the same thing. Pretty much. This but it was also minute, very, whatever. very much, a, you know, the Kurosawa, you know, the but it, it, it asks Lone some, Samurai. It asks some questions. Like, um, I get it, it's supposed to be a katana. But why is your lightsaber always on? <laughs> And isn't it, like, going to melt through the scabbard and make it hot to... <laughs> I don't know. I get it. It's supposed to look like a ninja. Yeah. Whatever. Stupid. But we fucking noticed. We did notice. Um, but, okay, fine. Whatever. So, episode one. Great. That started off like, oh, okay. Interesting. Maybe, maybe they put some work into this. Okay. Episode two. Tatooine Rhapsody. Oh, crap. These Boy, little, did it go downhill fast. These little kids want to be a rock star band. <laughs> but they have a fight with Jabba the Hutt. This He's is going to hurt them. This is the one that was actually animated by the studio that did One Piece. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't doubt it for a second. It was so fucking stupid. Oh, and I, had nothing to do with Star Wars. Now, keep in mind, I'm watching this with their target audience sitting next to me, right? So I've got a you know, 13 year old sitting next to me watching this and even he's like, oh, I, I can't actually watch this. And he looks at me and goes, are they all gonna be like this? Oh, <laughs> so yeah, that was bad. It, it had nothing to do with Star Wars. No. Like, uh, let's, here's this it stupid story I have. Oh, let's sit in uh, Jabba's palace, that'll be cool. Yeah, cool, Draw Sure, Jabba. yeah, no problem. It had nothing to do with... There was no reason to make that episode. Whatever. Episode 3. 
the twins. I hated this one immensely. This was the one that was very reminiscent of Kill a Kill. So if you've seen Kill a Kill, it was the worst of the bunch. It was fucking Dragon Ball Z bullshit. Yes. Just shitty dialogue, something happening in the background, and I'm going, I trusted you, but you took the Shambhala stone and now you have to pay for it. Ah! <laughs> and then the other guy repeats some other stupid three or four lines of dialogue, and then it goes back. <laughs> they took my nuts from here. It was just fucking garbage it was and made no sense. Like this, <laughs> this twin Sith, but one of them has an X-Wing parked in the hangar. For reasons. And then they fly and then they fight outside. Because if you're a good guy, your TIE fighter magically turns into an X-Wing. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like sitting out in space and he's having a conversation with the robot floating out in space. I, and then they're on the deck of the ship having a karate fight. Yeah, they have a karate fight on the deck of the ship out in space. Just stupid. It wasn't drawn well. It wasn't acted well. The whole story was stupid. I don't know what they were trying to do. But it was just dumb. It was it was ridiculous. Uh, but now that we've seen episode two and three, I I was immediately like, okay, this is the direction that we're going now. We started off strong, and this is this is what it's come to. Brings us to episode four, the village bride. Um, the girl is going to sacrifice herself to save her village from the the ruffian invaders. Again, another another Kurosawa reference. Strongly. And taking place in feudal Japan again. And this becomes a theme because they obviously didn't coordinate any of this. No, on purpose. They None of these studios talked to each other. Right, they, they fucking they all should have. Made it. Yes. Because of they the nine episodes, four of them took place in feudal Japan and they all sat around saying, okay, we've just been given the green light from Disney Studios, guys. They want us to do a Star Wars anime and we have carte blanche. We can do anything. Fuck, okay. What do we do? What do you we do? You know, uh, the hardcore American fans know that the Jedi were based on the feudal samurai stories. Let's pay homage to those Kurosawa films. <gasps> Shit, they're gonna love it. That's brilliant. Yeah. Fucking half of you had the same fucking idea. <laughs> Coordinate the shit! It's nine fucking episodes! <laughs> Just communicate with each other! So you don't all do the same fucking thing! Or maybe you all turn in your episodes to one person, and that one person looks and goes, mm, Are you four? You need to come up with something new, because this fifth guy already came up with that idea. Right. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, by the way, yeah. not, it, it, we're paying homage to Japan and anime. Not one giant mecha robots? I was Not shocked. one? Not, not one fucking ATAT -AT that transforms into a ro what the fuck i was really expecting like five tie fighters to form one giant <laughs> robot <laughs> like they would like come I mean, together and virtually no space stuff no no outer space shit no so no gundam anything what the fuck no battleship yamato yeah nothing what what the fuck coordinate what the fuck is Disney doing? This, they had the same shit. <laughs> it's all Kathleen Kennedy. She's like, I just, fuck. I, it's a cartoon. I don't understand it. It's fine. Whatever. Didn't they learn their lesson with the fucking sequels? No. Of course they didn't. A little coordinate. Somebody needs to be steering. You can't have three completely separate teams doing their own fucking thing. <sighs> not paying attention to each other. Because then none of it fucking fits or makes sense. So well, that's what you have here. Nine episodes, here. four are clones of each other. Okay, so that was the fourth one, was the bride thing. And it was it was pretty good, was but fine. again, it was reminiscent of something I swear we'd already seen. And then number five, what the, was the... The ninth Jedi. So there's a, a lightsaber... Jedi. Oh, I actually kind of liked uh, this one. I, I thought this one was kind of good. Even though it goes against everything we know about the Jedi. Yes, completely. <laughs> They and decided, lightsabers and yes, but it's very lore. Japan. It's very Japanese, where you have you know the the amazing weaponsmith who can make these amazing Hattori swords. Hattori Hanzo, yeah, the swordsmith. So now you have these smiths that make Jedi weapons, and and this chick who has to deliver them, and the chick ends up actually being this amazing Jedi in training. And I don't know, if, uh, that, that episode wasn't bad. I I kind of liked the way that one turned out. Well, but it, it didn't bother you that it was. I guess it's a separate universe, whatever. It's 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 fine. Yeah. It went yeah. clearly directly against what we know about the lightsabers and the Jedi and how they're made. This oh, guy's going to rebuild the Jedi Order by making their weapon and just recruiting people. 
Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, man. All right, it was fine. And we wonder why this, you know, <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, in, the, in the first episode, they were pulling him out of scabbards, yeah. so whatever. And in the fourth, and the seventh, and the ninth. Yes. Episode so, six, T.O.B. one, Toby. Okay. A little robot boy wishes he could be a real boy. Okay. You may not have gotten it. I did. Toby was actually the name of Astro Boy. Yes, I know. Okay. I know. It was clear. It, it was a it throwback was to Astro Mazinger and Little Ghost Q and Astro Boy. I guess. Yes. It, it absolutely was Astro Boy. Is this the way it was when you guys were in school? Yeah. He has notes. Yes, and I have nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I come from completely unprepared. I don't That's why I'm highly educated, and he graduated with a 1.7 <laughs> GPA. You see? Yeah. <laughs> so Toby was stupid. That's because he's so Toby cute. Was, uh, yeah. I just have to look. I just have to look cute. No, no. Because <laughs> I then, saw no, my. He wasn't. No, no, no. I scored a thousand times more tang than him. <laughs> this is true. A thousand. <laughs> now I'm older and I sell my body online because oh, I know how. <laughs> yeah, what does Tang mean? Poon Tang. Yeah. He's I smashed that Poon Didn't you say all the guys wanted a massage from you? I did. I got a, <laughs> I got a lot of requests. From guys. Most of them from dudes. Because I learned how to give a massage and I decided, oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to put it out there. It's like the birth of Yahoo, you know. So I'm like, I'm going to put it up on Yahoo that I'm going to offer massages. You can come to my apartment and get a massage. And, and I started getting requests. And people, uh -huh. and, but all the requests were dudes. And all those dudes were like, should I stick around? And can I roll over? Would you like to massage something else? And I'm like, oh, God damn it. This isn't working. Get the fuck out. Do you know what I remember? You owe me 40 bucks, by the way. <laughs> what do I remember most from that, that era? What's that? You made these business cards. <laughs> you had misspelled half the fucking words on the business card. <laughs> Autocorrect wasn't really a thing back then. How old were you? How old was well, I? He was a fucking I was adult. in my 20s. <laughs> an adult. He's not a kid. But you know, I thought this would this will work. <laughs> Did it work? No. no. No, it did not. No. All right, that's the episode, Toby. There's okay. really nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, it's it Astro Boy. Is, it is the story of Astro Boy. Rather uh, sloppily, sloppily crammed into a Star Wars universe and, and shoved and condensed yeah, okay. into a, a droid seven-minute episode. Fine. That's something else, by the way. If you haven't watched these yet, every episode is only about ten minutes long. Like, they're short. Because they really are just fucking fan shorts. Yes. All right, so what came next? Uh, episode uh, 7. Uh, All right, silencio. Episode 7, The Elder. The Padawan and the Jedi are flying, and they come down on this planet, and there's an Elder Sith there, and they have to karate fight. That's right. It was good. Uh, it was good, but again... <laughs> it was just a repeat of Episodes 1 and 4. Yes. So here it was again. Here okay, back to Feudal Japan, Kurosawa. Uh, again, we've seen this before in live action... And now we're seeing it, but it, we just replaced the swords with lightsabers. But they still act like swords. It just, they clearly weren't coordinating. No. There was no reason for half these episodes to be the same. Same setting, same tone. It, yeah, and I, I honestly was expecting, or at least hoping for, an episode towards the end that would somehow pull all of these things together. But by around episode seven, I realized there's, there's no way. I mean, it was... No way. It was fine. It was a perfectly fine, good episode. But we'd seen it. Yeah. Episode 8. Love and Ocho. Love and Ocho. What a shit episode. <laughs> Much like many of them. The only thing that I found interesting... Uh, yeah. They, they flipped... I don't know if it was intentional or not. They flipped the parent and the child turning evil and good. So instead yeah. of Vader and Luke... It's the other way around. Yeah, where Luke, the child what becomes if Luke evil, became evil, and the, yeah. the father stayed good. Uh, Fine, but yeah, still dumb. I, don't know. I enjoyed the episode until it ended, and then I got pissed off because I realized you ended this on a cliffhanger as if you're ever going to make another one. <laughs> right. It's never going to happen. You're never going to get to make another one. And no this. one cares. And no one cares. 
And uh, finally, episode nine, Akakira. Nicely drawn, Which but forgettable. What? I don't even remember what the, the last Feudal now. Japan one. I remember there was another Feudal Japan one, but I don't remember what the hell happened in that. It was the, the last uh, one. Had I completely zoned out by then? The guy, he's a, he's a Jedi, and he's in love with this girl. They're on the planet, and then he, he kills oh! her. Oh! Uh, this can bring her back if this he turns was the to the one dark that was, side. I think this was the one that was animated by the guys that did Samurai Shampoo? Was that right? I might be wrong on that one. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, but Samurai the Shampoo art style, is fucking stupid. Yeah, the art style looked very familiar to me. <sighs> but the story was stupid. And it was another one that ended on a... Almost like a cliffhanger, like... Forgettable, And yeah. then what happens? And, and seriously, and then what happens? And like so many of the anime I hate. They're like, and then what happens? Uh, you figure it out. We're done. I didn't mind that because I didn't give a shit. Okay, fair enough. They didn't I, look care I don't fucking I had, care. Because I'd spent like eight whole minutes watching this episode. <laughs> I wanted to know how it ends. And they didn't bother to tell me how it ends. They just got to a certain point and then just stopped. And it's something that they've... We've seen this in anime. They take it to a certain point and then they either run out of money or they just, like the rest of us, don't give a shit anymore. They're like, we're done with this. And they just shut it off. It'd be nice to know that it has an ending of some kind. You know, we've had a, a Star Wars anime, and it was the X-Wing versus TIE Fighter anime. That's freely available on YouTube. Uh, yes, by the way, I'm still drinking tequila. There's a lot of it. And that X-Wing versus TIE Fighter anime is fucking awesome. It was really good. There was no need to do this. Not really. Well, there was although, no need to do this. I wonder if it's actually what spawned this. Like, they watched that X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, and like, oh, we could make this a whole series and make bank off of it. Did anyone who's not already a subscriber <laughs> suddenly subscribe yeah, because Plus of this? Just because of this shit? No fucking oh, way. Probably not. Then no. again, what could it have cost them? That's true. Because you go to these Japanese studios and you're like, you're going to do this because of the pride of your family or some shit, right? Yes, this, will give, us, this will give us great honor. All right, cool. I don't have to pay you. Have fun. We would uh, take away shame of our rest production. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody watch. <laughs> My wife leave me. She is so ashamed. <laughs> Sako-san, lead animator. He had to kill himself in front of his family. <laughs> and then kill them too. <laughs> but he screwed it up and killed himself <laughs> first. Now whole family shame. <laughs> <laughs> they say, Sato-san, why you not kill Sato. me too? And then, <laughs> Sato, the villain from Karate Kid Part 2? <laughs> Miyagi, now you come to face me, coward! <laughs> Only you caught that reference. <laughs> so. Alright, well... That's Star Wars Visions for you. The whole thing as a whole... It sucked. Uh, it was stupid. It was all right. I didn't, I didn't think it sucked. It was horrible. Oh, yeah. It, but it sucked. It wasn't horrible. <laughs> it certainly sucked. Yeah, it kind of sucked. But was it worth watching the one time? Some of the episodes, maybe. Some of those episodes, no. Of the nine, I'd say there were about three that stood out as... It was pretty the good. The class of the field. Yeah. The rest of them were either eh or garbage. Uh. But that's about the average that we've hit for all anime lately. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Three out of nine, roughly. What, third, a third of all anime is it, good? It's hard to know without knowing who the studio was or who these people were. How many of them were old enough to be diehard fans from the beginning? True. How many of them are just recent grads from Tokyo University School of Cinema, and this is their first job, and they're like, oh, wow, Star Wars, that's really popular, and I'm an animator. Well, I, I can, can do that. that. Sure, yeah, no problem. What was the motivation? You know, how, how deeply did they 
feel the connection to the material. Yeah. I think sometimes you can tell in the stories or in the things that they do and, you know, obviously the rest of them, they're like, I don't know, just grab something from the archives and put lightsabers in their hands and we're good. Yeah. That's what, that's what a lot of them feel. <laughs> and four of them grab the same damn movie. <laughs> four out of nine. For fuck's sake. <laughs> All right. So let me know what you think in the comments. Seriously, those comments down below, click on them. And tell me what you thought of Star Wars Visions. We want to know so that we can reply back. We're going to do an episode where we're actually going to read a lot of your comments out loud. So let us know. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, we're, if you did love it, we're going to tell you why you're wrong. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you want to <laughs> masturbate it? <laughs> <laughs> did you watch that one with Ocho, the rabbit girl? And we're like, I could fuck that. No. <laughs> she was a kitty cat. She's a rabbit. Oh, kitty cat. What? She was a kitty cat. She's a rabbit. No way. Um, put that in the comments, too. What the hell was she? I thought she was a rabbit. I don't think so. I don't know what the hell she was, then. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like us. Unless you don't like us. Then get the hell out of here. What are you doing? We're at the end. And we'll see you in another episode. Bye-bye. Oh, God.